Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Tuesday, July 18th, and uh, I'm going to have an abbreviated uh, vlog today, although I do have three video clips that I'd like for you to, to watch, and I think you'll find them interesting. And we'll go ahead and just get started. Uh, before we get started, I actually, I do want to say we will be at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Rolla, Missouri this evening. So be sure to come out and enjoy the uh, good food and the music this evening if you're in the area. We'll uh, get started around 6 o'clock and go to about 8.30 p.m. We've been having some really good jams there lately, so I hope you'll come out and join us. Okay, well, let's get right into the meat of the program there. Um... Alex and Jennifer did uh, show up here at the farm yesterday and uh, take a look at this. Well, my friends, as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, Alex and Jennifer are here. There's their car. And look what Alex did. He made short work of the bay window project. It really turned out nice. He cleaned it up and got rid of all the mess. And then he boarded it up. Uh, with some plastic there to uh, fill the hole in until we have time to build it back. And we did make a trip to Menard yesterday and we got two windows that should fill the hole almost perfectly. In fact, I'm a little bit concerned that they may not fit because they're going to fill it pretty close to perfectly. So we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, he did a really nice job and made short work of that project, which for those of you keeping score means that I'm uh, that much closer to getting started on the water wheel project. Of course, the sad saga still is that I have to finish the horse trailer project that you can see down there. There's an outside chance that I'll have it ready to paint today. I sanded the far side of the horse trailer and cleaned out all of the cracks that had been previously caulked. I have to do the same to this side, and assuming this side turns out as well as the other side, then probably tomorrow, possibly yet today, I'll start painting. Yeah, that horse trailer project is the project that just has never ended. I really don't recall a project that's taken me this long <laughs> what a mess um yeah the bay window thing is great um putting the windows back in i think it'll only take me a few hours so when i get chance to do that wh um while alex was doing that i was getting caught up on emails and a few things and i'm still way behind uh so yeah at least he did help me out there and uh I uh, had already finished my part of the horse trailer before he got here yesterday. So, you know, once it gets pretty hot, I'm not working outside. Uh, it's just too hot for me. Uh, the next project that we have, you know, is going to be the water wheel. After I'm finished with these two current projects, then I'm going to start on the pond and the water wheel. And the pond is going to have to be redrained to a different location. And then I'm going to have to build a retaining wall and a pour a foundation for the building for the water wheel, all that. It's a big thing. It's a big project. But here is another future project that I'm going to do. So take a look at this. Thought I might as well give everyone a heads up on what uh, a future project will be. Now this will be down the road a ways. As you can see, the end of the building here, I'm thinking of adding on about 16 feet, which will bring me over to about here. That will leave, you know, kind of a narrow entrance into the greenhouse, but enough interest that I don't think it'll be a problem. I think they'll still be six to eight feet wide gap there, which again is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. But if I can come out about 16 feet here and then go up about 14 feet uh, to the ceiling height, uh, I could put in a 12 by 12 garage door. Uh, I could uh, bring large vehicles in. I would also bring the width of the building this way about a foot and maybe that way about a foot or maybe two foot this way. Um, I really don't know about that part yet or maybe two foot the other way. The reason is I want to make it longer, uh, you know, again, for the vehicles to fit them in there really easily. 
height wise it's going to be difficult matching up to the angle there i don't know if i'll keep that angle and put the same kind of roof on this side or if i'll actually do it exactly opposite and make the uh, eave go the other way in other words make the eave go this way and that way and tie it in because the new one's going to be taller than that one i really don't know how i'm going to do it it's not been designed yet one of the big problems with this project is the drain it's old and it needs to be replaced anyway but i'll show you here it starts right here uh, which is just filled in with stuff it's just a mess it goes at an angle across here to this spot and then it goes right down this path to this spot here and drains out here and then it runs on down into the creek uh that's got to be fixed and replaced and probably what i'll do is bring bring the drain from here straight just straight through and go right down into the creek uh below my new building and everything um that's probably what i'll do uh possibly between the end of the building and the greenhouse and keep it you know under an area that doesn't have a building possibly do that i really don't know for sure how i'm going to handle that all yet either but i do know it's going to be quite a bit of a, a job everything around here is a big job you know so that's got to be done before i can build the building for sure and of course this old uh, tree which really is a pretty uh, redbud tree when it blooms but it's past its prime it's rotted at the base most of the base is already gone and uh, I have a bolt through it to keep it from falling apart. So it's kind of unsafe anyway, and it's past its prime. It needs to go. So I don't feel too terribly bad about taking that tree down, other than just the fact that we'll lose that little bit of shade. Of course, the new building will provide that shade again for my purposes. All in all, it'll just be a better job, a better working environment for me. And what I'll do is take out this window here and make that a door and it'll come into the shop that way so that's a huge project but that will come after the water wheel the water wheel will come first well um yeah I, i've always got my work cut out for me um i'm looking forward to get started on the water wheel project and the pond project but it's going to be a while uh, finally, I just saw one chat scroll up here. I, it says we have 23 viewers right now. And, uh, you know, I started early because I've got projects to get to. And that's why I got started at 730 this morning, which I know is real early for most people. And that's okay. If you miss it live, you can see it later. Um, Eddie Wolf looks like he just put a chat there. He says, Jerry, just take one job at a time. I don't jump between projects. Um, that way can focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, that's me too. I mean, I've stayed on the horse trailer thing. And just the fact that Alex was here, I thought I would use him to start the bay window. I'm not ready to start on it myself yet to put the windows back. But I might be in the next couple of days. So it was perfect timing for him to go ahead and get the bay window started. Um, once the bay window's finished, then I'll move up to the pond. So, no, I don't start five or six projects and then, uh, you know, have them all just laying around. Uh, I kind of did with the horse trailer, but I kind of knew the horse trailer was a long-term project. So, it's been sitting while I've done a million other projects, really. Uh, the last thing that we did yesterday was uh, shoot a few clay birds with a shotgun, and I just thought I'd show you a little video clip of that. We were uh, trying to teach Jack, uh, uh, Alex's son, how to shoot clay birds. I'm not sure how old Jack is. I'm going to say... 10, 11, I'm not really sure. But uh, he, unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to hit any of the birds, but uh, we do have a little video clip here of doing that. And so here that clip is.
Well, as you can see, uh, Jack wasn't able to hit his bird there, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but Sue did hit her bird. So uh, Sue just walked up and they asked her if she wanted to shoot one and she said, sure. And so she jumped in there and shot one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good shot. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, her and I used to shoot on archery leagues uh, years and years ago when we were dating, actually. And uh, she was a very good shot with a bow as well. So uh, she can definitely do it. There's no question about that. Uh, to be clear, I shot three shots yesterday and only hit one bird. <laughs> so I wasn't doing very well either. Um you know, I don't want to use excuses, but it was a little difficult to see. That's probably why Jack was having some trouble, too. It it was kind of overcast, and for me, see, I'm colorblind, so those birds don't show up that well anyway, and in that overcast darkness, it was really kind of hard to see the birds, so Jack may have been uh, struggling with that. Um, you know, in the bright sunlight, you can sure see them a lot better. I know that for sure. But uh, anyway, uh, he had fun uh, trying and shooting the shotgun. And uh, by the way, that shotgun was provided by one of my wonderful viewers. It's a double barrel 20 gauge. It's a little bit heavy. That's another thing that's kind of awkward. It was the only one I had that was small enough for Jack to, to use. But again, it was kind of heavy for him. And uh, it would have been better if we had just had a regular single barrel shotgun. Uh, for those of you who are absolutely opposed to guns and hate guns, I say, you know, you really ought to rethink it. Uh, it's not the guns, it's the people. Um, guns are just like your car or just like anything else. They can't do anything without somebody behind it. And, uh, you know, th making all these laws to get rid of guns and things, that ain't helping one thing. You know, if you got rid of every single gun, these crazy people that are out there, they just use a firebomb and go into a theater and throw a firebomb right in the middle of everybody and kill more people that way. There's crazies, and those crazy people are what we need to deal with. And I stand by that. The gun has got almost nothing to do with it. Now, granted, I don't necessarily think, I'm not a hard-nosed gun advocate, I don't necessarily think everybody needs a, an assault rifle, you know, there's, so I'm not opposed to some rules and things, I'm not a hardliner, but on the other hand, making rules for the guns ain't going to fix the people problem, and I will stand by that. Uh, moving on, you know, we... Uh, are making good progress on our projects, and that is what I need to do today. I've got to get busy out there on that horse trailer because if I don't get busy on it, uh, it's not going to get done, and I definitely want to make progress before it gets too hot. So I'm going to let that be the last word, even though we only have 30 viewers this morning right now, and very few comments, only one. So this is kind of the lowest uh, comments and viewers I've ever seen. It could be just because I've started it so early. But thank you anyway for uh, watching, and for those of you who will watch later in the day, thank you very much, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>